we're going to have a space for candles, we're going to have space for stained glass, and we're going to have space for product photography. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Marie with Kujo Candles Co. In today's video, you're going to follow me moving from my old studio to my new studio upstairs on the third floor of course they're in the same building because i wanted to stay in the same area I'm so thankful to my friend John. John and I have been friends since high school and when we get together we're so goofy like <laughs> so thank you John for helping. While I was excited to move upstairs on the third floor, I was also feeling a little bit sad leaving my studio because this is my first art studio and being in here for a year, I have built a relationship with this room and every time I came in here, it felt like I was just in my safe space. I just, I loved it. I have learned so much being in this studio I've learned a lot things that taught me lesson in life and I am grateful for the experience hey guys so this is our new studio and uh, I am so excited because this actually has a window and then what else? John is right there working and he's going to take that hook up and then put it right there because we keep hitting the door but we are going to clean here <laughs> clean everything everything and then we're going to have a space for candles we're going to have space for stained glass and we're going to have space for product photography and everything else so stay tuned <laughs> I was so excited when I heard that there was a, a room available on the third floor with half a window. I was out of this world excited because the light and the window is all I, I wanted. It didn't matter if it was half a window or a full window. To me, I just needed the light, natural light. we thought that it would be a great idea to put shelvings right there where John is working at and put put the candles there that would be like a spot for candles I haven't quite figured out yet how it will look after it's finished but hopefully I can slowly work on it and make it my vision. So we managed to clean everywhere. We clean the floor, the windows and everything. I have a box of Himalayan sea salt. So John was smelling it and he thought that it would be nice to put some at the windowsill right there. So we did.
so this is the plan that I was thinking for this room the back area near the window will be the stained glass setup and then making candle in the back there with setting it up with stained glass in a way um, and then use the front side near the door as a place to display the arts and the candles I hope that makes sense let me know what ideas you have for this room but for now that's where I am thinking um, yeah if you have any recommendation please let me know I am so bad at decorating but then I love home decor stuff so <laughs> let me know So this wooden rack here was left by uh, the previous owner of this studio and uh, we did not know what to do with it. We thought it was a waste and we wanted to get it out of the studio. But thank God my next door neighbor Khalil, he came over and he let us know that the previous owner used this rack to store her canvases and her art supplies. So from there, I changed my mind. I thought that I would keep it to store my glass, the heavy stained glass and other and my canvases. But this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me. I appreciate it and uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!